Do you need to migrate your databases from on-premises to the cloud and find it challenging to optimize for both cost and performance? If so, Amazon FS6 for NetApp on top has the answer for you. Lower your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud costs while achieving the low latency your databases need with the FS6 for ONTAP as the storage infrastructure. And with BlueXP Workload Factory for AWS, NetApp's workload optimization and automation service, you'll also be able to discover your on-premises SQL servers, create their AWS configuration for migration, and understand its costs. In this FS6 for ONTAP workloads video, we'll show you how FS6 for ONTAP decouples storage from compute allowing you to choose the optimal EC2 instance for your IOPS needs and significantly save on costs in the process. Let's get started. So, you need to migrate your databases from on-premises to the cloud and optimize it for both cost and performance. Like this SaaS company that needed to migrate its SQL Server workloads containing 20 databases from its data center to AWS, requiring 32 vCPU cores, 256 gigabit of memory, 100,000 IOPS, and 5 terabyte capacity of data. Initially, their intention was to design their self-managed database operations with EC2 instances, using Amazon Elastic Block Store for the underlying storage. To meet the 100,000 IOPS requirement, they needed to choose an R6i24x large EC2 instance with 96 vCPU cores and 768 gigabit of memory, much more than needed. While this architecture answered the requirements, it was expensive and strained their budget. Replacing the EBS storage with FS6 Frontup solved this challenge, since FS6 Frontup utilizes network bandwidth and reaches 100,000 IOPS with an R6i 8x large EC2 instance with 32 vCPUs and 256 gigabit of memory exactly as needed. By effectively decoupling storage from compute, the company could save on their EC2 costs for the SQL Server deployment and stay on budget. Reducing the number of EC2 cores also lowered the SQL license cost. And FS6 FrontUp also offered additional cost reduction with its unique data footprint reduction technologies and thin cloning. Overall, the company saved 40% on the compute cost and 65% of the total cost of ownership of the workload without compromising its performance requirements. Want to understand how FS6 FrontUp and Workload Factory did all this and what they can do for you? Let's see a technical explanation and a hands-on demo to do just that. Amazon FS6 for NetApp ONTAP is an AWS fully managed storage service powered by NetApp's technology. It provides intelligent storage for business-critical workloads through a comprehensive and flexible set of storage features. When it comes to achieving the performance your database requires, FS6 Frontup is designed to deliver fast, predictable, and consistent performance that allows for minimal latencies. It provides multiple gigabytes per second of throughput per file system, sub-millisecond file operation latencies with SSD disks, 200,000 IOPS, and it incorporates a unique in-memory cache and NVMe cache to further enhance performance of frequently accessed data. All these parameters are configurable, so you can scale up when needed and scale down to save on cost for less performant environments. The cost reduction FS6 from ONTOP offers is the result of its using the network bandwidth, which allows higher throughput and IOPS using smaller EC2 instances with less memory and vCPU cores. To understand this better, let's look at an example from the AWS documentation and specs. Let's assume our deployment is for a mission-critical workload running on multi-availability zones for resiliency, requiring 256 gigabit of RAM, 32 vCPU cores, 100,000 IOPS and a capacity of 5 terabytes. Since SQL servers typically benefit from large amounts of RAM but do not require significant compute resources, let's look in the EC2 instance types EBS optimized page. Let's look at the memory optimized table and select the first EC2 instance that answers our 100,000 IOPS need which is the R6i24x large EC2 instance. 
Note that the vCPU and RAM are much more than we need, but it's the EBS bandwidth that affects the IOPS and we therefore have to use a higher level EC2. Let's see how much this costs. We'll go to the AWS pricing calculator and search for the EC2 service. We'll keep the default selection for the region, select Windows Server for the operating system, and we'll use two instances for resiliency. We choose the R6i 24x large instance and keep the default selection for the payment options. Then for the storage, we select EBS IO2, which should be sufficient. Provision 100,000 IOPS, add 5 terabytes for storage capacity, and choose no snapshot for simplicity. The cost estimation for this deployment is just over $260,000 a year. Now let's look at the same configuration using FSX Frontop as the storage solution. In the relevant table, we see that we can achieve 100,000 SSD drive IOPS and around 3,000 megabits of throughput. In the EC2 table, we can see that we can use the R6i 8x large instance that offers our required 32 vCPU and 256 gigabit memory at 12.5 gigabit of network bandwidth, which is higher than the 3,000 megabits which are needed. Let's see the costs for this configuration. First, let's calculate the cost of the EC2 instance. We'll go through the same steps, selecting the R6i 8x large instance. We would still need a very small EBS volume to host the operating system. So we'll select GP3 with a 50 gigabit capacity. The cost for this EC2 instance is just over $44,000 a year. Now, let's calculate and add the FSX for on top cost. We'll use a multi ez deployment. Add 5 terabytes of capacity. Choose 100% on SSD to get the best performance. We'll assume 0% of data footprint reduction savings to be on the conservative side. Then add the 100,000 IOPS requirements and the 3,000 megabytes of throughput. We'll ignore backup aspects for the simplicity of the example. The combined cost of EC2 and FSX Frontup is around $138,000 a year compared to the cost of the R6i 24x large EC2 instance, we see a 47% cost savings achieved by using FSX from on top as a storage infrastructure and utilizing only the memory and CPU power we need. Now that we've understood how FSX from on top can help you save on EC2 costs, let's look at a simpler way to calculate your database workload costs, find cost saving opportunities, and plan your migration in a few clicks. Workload Factory is an automation and optimization service for AWS workloads using FSX Frontup as the storage infrastructure. Let's see how it handles the heavy lifting of translating your SQL configuration from on-premises to the cloud and calculating the costs. Let's go to the BlueXP Workload Factory homepage. Here, we go to the database workload. Click on Explore Savings and choose Microsoft SQL Server on-premises. Now, we download the PowerShell script and run it on our on-premises SQL host. The script will collect the workload's relevant stack configuration, including the database host, compute, and storage. This single script replaces all the different tools you would otherwise need to collect all this information. Now, we upload the results back to Workload Factory to analyze them. We can see all the hosts we discovered. Now, let's click on Explore Savings. Workload Factory shows us the optimal configuration for our SQL servers on AWS using FSX for ONTOP, based on the collected on-premises information. We've just saved ourselves hours or even days of planning. The TCO calculator shows us the monthly cost of our environments when run on AWS utilizing FSX for ONTOP. 
and also allows us to compare them to other storage services. The calculator uses AWS Calculator APIs, giving you the exact same result as a manual calculation on AWS. Scrolling downwards, you can see a detailed configuration and cost breakdown. If you want, you can download this as a report or save it for later use in Workload Factory. And when you're ready to create this environment on AWS, Workload Factory can do it for you. Click on Create Template to go to the Deployment Wizard, where you can fine-tune settings and use Workload Factory's recommendations that ensure you implement industry best practices in the entire SQL stack. When you're done, either copy the automatically created infrastructure as code to deploy the workload in the workflow of your choice, or plus deploy to do it in Workload Factory. That's it. It's as simple as that. In this inside and out video, we learned how to optimize the cost and performance of databases on AWS by selecting FSX FrontUp as the storage infrastructure. We also saw how BlueXP Workload Factory helps to easily translate on-premises SQL configurations to cloud deployments while calculating database TCO. Check out our other FSX FrontUp inside and out videos to gain an inside-out view of the numerous benefits FSX Frontup offers your workloads. See you there!